Hello, low carbon keto friends and family. Welcome back to the channel. You're not going to want to miss this as we go down the slippery slope of oils. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, thanks again for joining us. We're back on the channel, Some Chick on Keto. Remember, I'm not a doctor, I'm not an expert, I'm just Some Chick on Keto. Thanks so much for joining us. Your time is important to us and it means everything to us. Don't forget to subscribe, smack the notification bell, and give us a like if you like this video. So I want to talk very quickly about oils because this is a very important topic and as you're starting into the keto low carb lifestyle you might not realize exactly how important it is but a lot of the oils that we typically think are good for us are actually bad and rancid and toxic to our bodies. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little heads up about what I've learned about oils. So first I'm going to just uh, show you the vegetable oil here. This is typically what most people would fry in or what they would use for baking or cooking or what have you, thinking that it's a it's a relatively decent oil. But turns out this oil is actually made mostly of soybean oil, which soybeans, the oil itself has to go through such a, a process in order to extract the oil out that it becomes toxic to our bodies. The same thing is happening with canola oil. This one is going to re represent canola today. It is actually a spray made with canola oil. It's the same thing. Now I had always thought that canola oil was one of the best better oils to cook with because when you go to any fast food restaurant or any other restaurant to go out to eat, a lot of times they cook in canola oil. So it's important for you to know that when you go out to eat, the oils are also important as to what your food is getting cooked in. Another kind of hidden area where oils, bad oils for us can hide is in things like salad dressings. This particular salad dressing you'd think is a really good salad dressing because it's marked organic and it's oil and vinegar and you're thinking, yes, I'm doing great here, but it actually, the second ingredient on the label is soybean oil. So again, it's another one of those oils we want to stay away from. Some other oils we want to avoid are things like safflower oil, sunflower oil, grapeseed oil. There's a, a large chemical process that has to happen in order to extract the oil from the seeds. And we think that we're doing our bodies a favor, but we're actually not. It's actually toxic and very unhealthy for us. I've got these two in the middle because you would think, oh, coconut oil and avocado oil, these are, these should be healthy for me, right? Well, Maybe yes, maybe no. With the coconut oil, it can be healthy if it's unrefined. So this particular one is kind of like my little trick question for the day because this one is a refined coconut oil. So we want to avoid the refined and do something like this one, which is an unrefined coconut oil. And this one is going to be much healthier. It's much more natural for us. The avocado oil, I'm on the fence about because I actually cook with avocado oil, but I've heard that the extraction process to get the oil from the seed of the avocado may not be the best. Now this particular one is a cold pressed avocado oil. So I'm thinking it may be better, but I'm really not sure. So this one's kind of in the maybe category. These ones over here are all in the good and healthy category. These are the types of oils we do want to consume. So things like extra virgin olive oil is a good healthy oil for us to consume. So these are some of the good fats. MCT oil, which we've covered on another video. This is a good clean burning energy source for our bodies, it goes into our bodies and it helps to promote our weight loss and just really help our bodies in, in multiple ways to um, stay on track with a ketogenic diet. Things like grass-fed butter or even just regular butter. Obviously the grass-fed, if you can get it, is going to be the best, but even if you don't uh, can't get your hands on grass-fed or maybe you can't afford grass-fed butter, then go ahead and just get the regular full-fat butter. Every choice that you make, you're going to want to choose full-fat. You don't want things that are low in fat. You want the high-fat content because once foods are changed to low-fat, it just changes the whole 
process of them and the way your body breaks them down. I've also got a coconut oil spray here, which is great. You know, when I'm baking, I use something like this. And then for a salad dressing, Primal Kitchen actually has a range of salad dressings that are actually fantastic for the ketogenic lifestyle. So uh, whether you're low carb or ketogenic, it's gonna be a healthy choice for you to make. And it comes in lots of different flavors. They have a, a Caesar and they have a green goddess, they have ranch, they have Mult a multitude of flavors, so you are spoiled for choice when it comes to the oils there. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Share the love and share the video. Give me a like. Keep on watching and subscribing because without you, we can't get the message out to people to learn about this lifestyle that can really help people to lose weight and get rid of a bunch of other chronic issues that they have. Make sure you tune in for our next video where we talk about intermittent fasting. That's all for now. Again, my name is Tina Amrine, and I'm just some chick on keto. Take care. Bye-bye.